Auto IM608 Big Update, Clone EDC17, PCR 2.1, and Simos 8.x12.xecus made easy. Hey friends, Hussein here, and welcome back to Bob G Motors, the workshop where complex diagnostics become simple stories and powerful fixes. Before I roll up my sleeves and dive into today's topic, here's a quick but important disclaimer. This video is made for educational and informational purposes only. Everything I share is designed to help technicians, learners, and enthusiasts understand their tools better. All trademarks belong to their respective owners, and we always encourage you to follow the official manufacturer guidelines and, of course, your local laws. Now, here's a fun question to kick things off. If you had the ability to clone one ECU instantly without hassle, which car model would you choose to test it on first? Drop your answers below because I love seeing what kind of cars you all dream about working on. And before we dive deep, I need a small favor. Did you know that most of you watch these videos but still haven't subscribed? Subscribing is literally one click, but for me, it makes a huge difference. It helps the channel grow and keeps videos like this coming. Let's set ourselves a fun challenge. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments within the first 24 hours. Also, don't forget to hype this video. It's free, it's fun, and it boosts us up the YouTube leaderboard. Ready? Let's get started. So here's the big news. Auto just released a powerful new IMMO software update in September 2025 for their flagship tools. The Auto Maxim IM508, the IM608, and even the Odifix IM1 and IM2. This update is no small tweak. It's a major leap forward, especially for anyone dealing with European vehicles like BMW, Mercedes, Volkswagen, Audi, Bentley, Seat, and Skoda. Let's start with the Audi IMMO update, version 2.40. This brings a whole new level of bench mode support. You can now perform flash data writing, EEPROM data writing, and even EEPROM cloning data conversion for a massive list of Bosch EDC-17 and MED. 17 series ECMs. We're talking models like the EDC 17 CP04, EDC 17 CP14, EDC 17 CP20, including the Crafter variant, EDC 17 CP24, EDC 17 U05, and then diving into MED 17 series, such as MED 17.1, MED 17.1.1, MED 17.5.1. MED 17.1.21, all the way through to newer variants like MED 17.1.61 and MED 17.1.62. In other words, if you're dealing with Bosch ECUs on Audi vehicles, this update gives you powerful cloning capabilities right the bench. But that's not all. The update also supports Siemens and Continental ECUs, specifically PCR 2.1, CMOS 8.3X through 8.6X, and CMOS 12.1 and 12.2. Here, you can now perform flash reading and writing, EEPROM reading and writing, IMMO data calculation, and full EEPROM cloning data conversion, all directly in bench mode. This is a huge breakthrough for technicians because it means you can handle cloning and programming without needing to remove or swap ECUs the hard way. Audel didn't stop there. They've added chip reading and IMMO decoding support for specific microcontrollers, such as the D70F3426 used in the Audi Q3 starting from 2018 and the D70F3427 used in the Beetle from 2014 to 2017. Plus, they've optimized the reading guides for V850 D70F3526 and the YELV module with part number 5K0905. 861. Even the IMMO 4 instrument menu order has been reorganized for a smoother workflow. So what does this all mean for you? Well, with the IM608 or IM508 paired with the XP400 Pro Programmer, you now have the ability to clone EDC 17 series ECUs, as well as Siemens and Continental PCR 2.1, CMOS 8.x, and CMOS 12.x ECUs directly on the bench. No more complicated workarounds. This update makes cloning faster, cleaner, and far more efficient. And honestly, I think this is a game changer. Autel is clearly paying attention to what technicians need in the field, 
And by expanding cloning and data conversion support to this many ECUs, they just made life much easier for anyone working on Volkswagen Group cars and beyond. So, circling back to the question I asked at the start, if you could pick just one ECU to clone instantly, which one would it be? Personally, I'd go with the PCR 2.1 because it has been one of the trickiest ones in the past, and seeing how smooth Auto makes it now is just impressive. Here's a fun fact to leave you with. Did you know that the very first electronic control units used in cars back in the late 1970s were about the size of a shoebox? While today's ECUs can be smaller than a smartphone, but thousands of times more powerful, it really puts into perspective just how far this technology has come. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget, our challenge is 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in just 24 hours. Let's see if Bob G Motors can hit that milestone together. Leave your answers, hype this video, share it with your friends, and if you want to go that extra mile, a super thanks always helps us grow. Until next time, keep learning, keep exploring, and happy diagnosing.